To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> Stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on it? I think the reason I see comedy in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. Which Why? Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi, how are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, okay? <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the length of yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lolla Vita is an award-winning independently run Italian restaurant located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool. Real Italian style dishes using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. everyone and welcome to the show. The Michael Davitt Memorial Golf Day is always a very special occasion and we'll be showing you some of the highlights later in the show. But first the Warrington Irish Club in association with the gathering arranged a cultural day. This was very well supported. Even the Lord Mayor of Warrington came along to lend his support. <laughs> Lord Mayor, it's great to see you here today supporting the Warrington Irish Club. It's great to be here, Martin. I love this place. It's one of the best, the best places in Warrington. Coming for a pint, fantastic. Great company, great crowd, a great team of people that put all these marvellous events on here in Warrington. And we're really proud that they do that for us. And so I'm proud that I'm of Irish descent. So I'm proud to be my mother, you know, my mother Irish. You know so it's great to be here in the Irish Club in Warrington. It's amazing what they do. I mean, I've just looked at the band at the back there, I know all the band. They're all regulars, so we've got a new band now, so that's really good. And of course, the Irish dancers, they're superb. They come here every year and they put a great show on the kids, so it's fantastic. And it's really good to, you know, appreciate your heritage and to, and to live it out. So I, that's why I love coming here. <laughs> John, tell me a little bit about the Arcade Running Group. So Arcade uh, Social Runners is a group in Huddersfield. In Hud it runs out of a bar called Arcade Beers. Uh, it's been going nearly four years now. It's a very relaxed social group. And basically uh, we run a 5K and a 10K route on every Wednesday. 
and uh, the incentive is you get a half price beer when you come back. <laughs> so as you run to drink, so it's great. <laughs> We've come to Warrington today for the Warrington Running Festival. Uh, which is a fantastic event. It was uh, organised in the centre of town at Bank Park, you know, by the Golden Gates. And there were two routes. There was a, a half marathon and a 10K. So there was nine of us. So four of us did the half marathon and five did the 10K. And it's been a wonderful event. It's all been about trying to encourage people to get active and move. Uh, and it was actually run by a group called Run Together. And uh, it was like free entry. Uh, and so that was the idea that you get people active. I know you've got a great group here with you today and you're not uh, raising money, you're not doing nothing, you just want people to join and uh, be more active. Absolutely. And you know, it's a bit of fun. You might know I do a uh, cone of the day. So the, the, my, my runners, they, have, uh, they bought me a cone outfit. And uh, so I ran in the cone outfit today so, because it's a, bit, it's a bit of fun. It's about making people smile and, it's, and, and getting people active. So it was great, great fun. And of course, here we are. In, in Warrington Irish Centre, and we've built, you know, we've built a friendship in Huddersfield, Warrington, over the years now, yeah. and it's wonderful that the, you know, the Irish club invited us here. So the hospitality has been wonderful. And of course, I know you're heavily involved with the Huddersfield Irish Centre. That's right, and you know, we, uh, I'm involved with the, the parade in particular, uh, the St Patrick's Day parade, and uh, you know, we've been able to do that the past two years in St George's Square, and uh, we're looking forward to, to building up again for that again next year in, in Huddersfield again. So the Arcade uh, Social Runners is on Facebook. Uh, it has a Facebook page. Uh, alternatively, you can just come down to Arcade Beers on Station Street in Huddersfield Town Centre near St George's Square. 5K goes at 6 o'clock. The 10K goes at 6.30 every Wednesday. Very busy person, Lord Mayor. A lot of demands on your time. Yes, I've been out this morning, people have been running around Warrington, the, the, uh, the Warrington uh, 5k and 10k I think it was, yeah and then I'm at a church this afternoon licensing a, a vicar, so yeah I'm out all, all over Warrington and it's a great place Warrington and it's got fantastic people, wherever I go I just meet really fantastic people who just want to do good stuff for the community and it's the same here. The great team here just want to do stuff that helps people to get on. They raise money for all sorts of charities and they put great events on that people can come and enjoy. It's like that all over Warrington. It was early in the morning before I rose to travel Up comes a band of fourth man and likewise Captain Faddle It's the second time I was the mayor. I was the mayor when we celebrated our 50th anniversary at this club in 2012 and, it, and a gr great honour of revisiting that role again. So it's very unusual for someone to do it twice. So I'm very privileged in that regard. In the jar. Jacqueline, another wonderful day here at the Warrington Irish Club. Yes, Martin, a great day. Uh, the, the gathering have organised an event just to, for various charities, raise money for the Irish chances and other charities. So yeah, great day. Now just a notice there that you, you've got a remembering wall. Tell me about that. Um, well, a few people um, brought some photos in and I thought it'd be nice to have um, like a remember in the past of all the people who supported it, the members from the 1960s and beyond, from Bank Street and all the other Irish clubs before they came to uh, Warrington on Orford Lane in like, about 1962. So um, I thought it'd be nice for people to look. So some people come, the uh, grandfathers and the great grandfathers are on the pictures, so it's quite nice. And of course, uh, Warrington, great history here. And of course, you had a Gaelic football team here, which you have now again, but you had a Gaelic football team, great photographs of them here as well. Yes, we have them. We've also got some uh, football shirts, what they've donated. So yeah, it's, it's uh, great up and coming. Uh, they've just got a new ground uh, in Appleton or Grapnall. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going from strength to strength, isn't it? It is, Martin, it is, yeah. We're really sorry, of course, that your mum and dad isn't here today and we all miss them. How are they doing? Yeah, they're both doing well. Um, they could be recovering. My dad was out of, out of hospital now, so he's uh, recovering at home. Mum's just happy to have him home. So hopefully we'll see him again soon in the near future. Yeah, but we do miss them and send them our very best wishes, the two of them. I will, Martin, thank you.
today you have Moggy here introducing all the, the music and the dances and everything. And of course we miss Mike O'Halloran as well because Mike's a big part here of the club. Yeah, Mike's a massive part of the club, um, has been for years, his family and um, he always, uh, the tribute nights and all, any events we have, Mike's normally here, but we wish him well. Everybody at the club wishes him really, really well, so we hope to see him soon. Of course, Audrey, it's a very special day for you because your granddaughter was dancing. Yes, she is. She, lo she loves the dance class here. She comes every week and she's so excited to be dancing today. And you had a group over as well here running this morning from Huddersfield and they have all joined in the fun today. We have, yes. We've had a, a, all our friends from Huddersfield have done the, the 10k and half marathon and they've all come back to spend the afternoon now in Warrington Irish Club. And of course it's a special time in your household because I believe James is celebrating his birthday next week. Oh he is, yes, his birthday's on Thursday. I think he doesn't want anybody to know. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> James, of course a huge crowd in there today, but you're also trying to raise a few bob for charities if you like. Yeah, Martin, it's for the uh, Irish dancing and it's for the gathering. And it's absolutely mobbed in there, isn't it? Now we've seen a great display of the Irish dancing in there and of course the girls were telling us at the Robinson School of Irish Dancing, they were telling us that they're going to be competing in the World Championships next year. They're going to the World Championships, I think it's in Glasgow, uh, I'm nearly sure it's in Glasgow, but uh, they're all in dancing and they've got uh, prelims in November. For, to, to work out a grading for the World Championships. A lot of work goes into training them all. Oh, I think they must be out seven days a week at different, they, they do two nights here in the Irish Club and then they do another place I think in a garage and then they're using our boxing gym as well for, the, for, for this extra training because they're, they're pushing it on but it's a great, great, great academy. It is a great academy. Chris, how do you manage to keep people coming along to these events Sunday afternoon? I mean, it's great for a family. Yeah, it is. It's great to bring the families out and uh, uh, we just have a, a great following the gathering, you know, so it's, we have a brilliant following. Yeah. You, know, you formed the gathering quite a number of years ago and it's been a great success. Yeah, it's been a great success, Martin. We've given 50 to 60,000 to all the day, plus a lot more charities we've helped out as well. Yeah. That's magnificent because we all know Alderhead Children's Hospital, a really, really wonderful hospital. It, it's a great hospital, Martin. You know, they, even my own granddaughter, when, you know, we thought she was going to die and they, they saved her life, you know, so we, we, we just think it's a great place, you know. James, you've got another big day coming up in a few weeks' time. You've got a big boxing day here. Yes, Martin, the 21st of October, we've got a team coming over from Dublin and it's Ireland versus England against Fire, Phoenix Fire ABC over here and we're looking forward to that. This is an annual event, isn't it, where you have a, a boxing day on every year? It, it is, yeah. Well, we've been, Covid put a stop to it for a couple of years, but it, we've got it back and we got it back and running last year and they're coming again this year now, so hopefully we keep going on for as many years as we can because they're great people, absolutely great people. And then when the boxing's over, it's all dancing and music and great, we, great people, lovely people. It'll be for all, all the day, Children's Hospital and uh, Alzheimer's. You've got a great mixture of entertainers coming up, both Irish and English and tribute nights and so on. It's really well organised. Yes, we do. Um, Mike's, Mike's one of the organisers. We also have another promoter called Jim. Addison, he gets local bands from Manchester. So yeah, last year we, we got a come second in venue of the year for Warrington, which is a really big thing for Warrington Irish Club. So. Yeah. I know you've been here at the Warrington Irish Club a long time, but you know, behind every good thing, there's got to be a good person. Gotcha. Well, I wouldn't be able to do it with my, without my partner, Steve, because he's a, he's a big, massive help to me. But yeah, it's, um, I really enjoy it. I love the club, love the culture, keeping the Irishness as much as we can. Um, but yeah, I love it. It was lovely to see such great dancing from the Robertson Irish Dance Academy and well done to them all at the Warrington Irish Club. We're going to take a break and we'll see you in a few minutes. To me, Irish people are the funniest in the world. They just are. Oh, this looks amazing. I just love any food that comes with its own home. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. Anything else? Some greens. What do you think I am? A juggler? <laughs> 
stunning. Inspirational. Would you look at the brush strokes on that? I think the reason I see comedy <laughs> in everything is because I was surrounded by it growing up. That's good. You wouldn't know we're 105. You're 105. Between us. <laughs> Do you know what? There's only one word for that. Absolutely cracker. Hi. How are you? In Ireland, one of the greatest compliments you can give someone is to describe them as a character. If you find any pearls, give them to me, OK? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on! You couldn't run the leg to yourself! Because as every writer knows, it's the characters you remember long after you've forgotten the story. Fill your heart with Ireland. Discover more at Ireland.com. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lala Vita is an award-winning independently run Italian restaurant located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. The Warrington Irish Club, a friendly and welcoming club keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night, tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports are shown on big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and craft. Pop in for a friendly welcome and book your event at the Warrington Irish Club. Give Frank a call on 01925 243 363. Welcome back. Now the Michael David Memorial Golf Day, which is always held at the Rossendale Golf Club, is always organised by Angus Lindsay. And this year, the golfing teams really played some outstanding golf. It was a very enjoyable day and it was great to see them all again. Angus, another wonderful day for the Michael David Memorial. Sun is shining. Yes, it's looked very well. I'm very, very pleased with the day because a few weeks back I was really worried about what it was going to be like with the weather we were having going back into June. But it's been wonderful today. I'm very, very pleased with the support we've had from, from both the members and um, some of the relatives of uh, past presidents of the golf club as well. The scenery is brilliant around here. Rosendale Valley is one of the nicest places. Uh, and then, and of course, the golf club is wonderful and the staff are absolutely fabulous at the golf club. One of the members going back a long time who was a historian called George Burke, he said that um, Haslingdon was a custodian of, my, of the memory of Michael Davitt and to an extent it has been, although there are many other places in the world where Davitt is remembered and one of them is the um, museum in Strade, County, in County Mayo. That's a fabulous place and well worth a visit. And of course up here in Rossendale as well, he's very well thought about the museum here in Art Gallery. Yes, the museum has, uh, has put the memories of David in and uh, he is well, he's well known. I mean, if, if a visitor comes to Hasling, the for the Irish Club, he's probably told, oh, you mean the Land League? And that, that's, um, that, that's, that's the name of the club, the Land League. And you've had quite a few Irish presidents, um, you know, visit the Land League and visit Michael Davitt's memorial. Yes, uh, Mary McAleese, she came and she, she's a lovely, lovely lady. We haven't had the president, uh, Irish uh, president. He hasn't visited, but hopefully he will. Peter, tell me, how did you first get involved in playing golf? Well, my father-in-law was a golfer and I'd always said I wouldn't play golf. I'd, I played squash, I played football and I always said... I might consider it when I'm past playing a proper sport. However, my son, who was 10, and one of my nephews, who was 9, both decided they'd like to take up golf. And so my father had said he would get them junior golf sets for their Christmas presents. 
because he decided if the boys were taking up golf, it would be nice if myself and my brother did as well. So he'd got them the clubs for Christmas, got a set for me and my brother. I took it up to uh, take the lads out and play with them. My brother never did, but I got bitten by the bug and I've played ever since. How long have you been a member here at Rosendale? Well, that's going to be just over 30 years. There were spells when I played very infrequently, but in recent years, especially since retiring, yeah, twice a week if I can. Tell us how you went on today. Played really well and had the good fortune of uh, having a partner who was really playing out of his skin. The young lad called Robert, who is actually a, an Olympic gold medalist in golf at the Special Olympics. He's actually one of only two people in the world ever to have won gold medals at both the Summer and Winter Olympics because he won a, a Winter gold Olympics gold medal in skiing a few years ago and then more recently uh, won in the golf, a gold medal in the golf. So he's a good lad and he played really well and I managed to contribute as well. You know, you picked up the trophies, so what were they for? For the Michael David trophy for men's best score, obviously, we, uh, we've got the trophy. The main trophy for the pair of us, an individual trophy each and some bottles to uh, sweeten the uh, success. My goodness, Sandra, what a day it's been for you. We saw you out there on that course today and one of your shots was absolutely magnificent. Well, it certainly was and I don't really know where that came from, to be quite truthful. I'm so glad that it's been recorded because I don't think anybody would have believed that I've done it. Yeah. But yeah, it, I really enjoyed it. It was wonderful. Rumour has it you were playing up for the camera. Well, I think I must have been because it went downhill after you'd gone, so it probably was the camera, yes. Yes, it was. It's been absolutely fantastic. Been very, very hot, but we've enjoyed it. Much, much better than the rain, which we have had. But yeah, it was superb. Full day, brilliant. Well, I'm a member here. I probably play uh, twice here a week, but we do play opens as well. So sometimes it can be four times. I'm playing four times today, tomorrow, Sunday and Tuesday. No wonder you're good. <laughs> I'm not really that good. It goes down here, I can assure you. But yeah, we enjoy it. Might as well whilst the weather's like this. Patrick, of course, you're a man of many talents. You're so busy here. You're chairman, you're captain as well. Yeah. Well, I do get a lot of abuse. If somebody comes in and they have a bad day putting, then they blame the Greens. Yeah. But it's not the Greens. We do it. We put a lot of work in. We do it all voluntary. We do it for the membership. Uh, and we like to think we've got a great course with some great members. It's a friendly club and it's headed by Angus who puts a lot, a lot of work into this club and he's so well thought of. Roughly we have about 15, 20 volunteers who come up. We all do it unpaid. We do different things. I'm responsible for the course, the staffing levels. Um, but it is collectively, it's not just one person, it's everybody pulling together to make the course what it is and to make the club what it is, a fantastic club. Sandra. Who is the best golfer in your household? Um, well, on the whole six, it was me. But normally, it's, it, I must have said, it's Pat. Yeah. We do have a big family in Ireland. Um, and I'd just like to say hello to all my family in Dublin, the Magali family. Um, stay safe and look after yourselves. Jean, it was a great day for you. And we watched you all day. You had some great shots. I, well, yeah, it's amazed me how well I played, actually. But, yeah, I did help him out at some <laughs> point. <laughs> you did, you did indeed. And you were carrying an injury as well? I am carrying an injury. Yeah. I'm recovering from a broken wrist, yeah. So I am actually on medical exemption, and it's the first time I've played. So, yeah, I was really pleased with it, yeah. How much does uh, golf, playing golf, mean to you? Uh, it means a lot because we're both retired, so it's something we can do together, which couldn't do before so yeah it's our it's our hobby 
you. It makes it lovely when you pick up a trophy now and then, doesn't it? And you've certainly done that today. It makes it all the better, all more worthwhile, yeah, it does, definitely. Yeah. Really enjoyed it today. Yeah, I've been a member since 1988 and um, it's a great club, a friendly club. Fantastic uh, people, so it's it, it, it really is a joy to play golf up at, up at Rosendale Golf Club. And you've been the club captain, I believe? Yeah, captain in 2007, president in 2019. Unfortunately, we caught the uh, the COVID years, so it just uh, spoiled it a little bit with the with the, with the lockdowns and things like that. But but still, it was an enjoyable enjoyable experience and well worth doing. Tell me a little bit about your ladies' team. We play on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and it's it's just good social. It's a social life, the social side of it as well as playing. Good exercise, fresh air, meeting up with people. It's just an enjoyable experience. We've got to thank um, for some of those very much the support from the from the local co-op who've supported us, and um, our our beer and uh, wines and spirit suppliers Root who've supplied us with presidents presidents as well. We're very very grateful to them. Now of course we're all enjoying the day today, but of course it's tinged with a little bit of sadness because your wife Kathleen is always here by our side looking after everybody. This time last year she had a stroke unfortunately and. Um, She's still in, basically still in hospital. She's actually in a, a, a care home at the moment, but uh, it's uh, it's one of the things she did a great job today. Uh, normally do, does a great job, and I've had I've struggled with the handicap system today. I must admit, and she would have sailed through it, but um, no, I, I do miss her. But. Uh, Hopefully she will recover. Well, it's been, I know it's been a tough year for you and your family and I know that you're visiting the hospital and the care home so many times every day. You're such a good person. <laughs> well, it, um, it is, but we need each other. Best wishes to Angus and Kathleen. Put so much into this competition every year. We know she's not well and just best wishes for her recovery. We cannot praise Angus enough and we sincerely hope his wife gets better soon. Great Britain did a survey of, of the clubs that are grouped as the most friendly and I'm pleased to say our club came in the top 15 in the UK as being the most friendly club for people to come into and, and being received welcomingly, which is a good thing. It was lovely to meet all the members at the Rosendale Golf Club and well done to Angus Lindsay for organising the day. And I'd like to take this opportunity to wish Angus's wife Kathleen a very speedy recovery. Now we'll be back with the Irish in the UK next Thursday evening at 7.30 so we're looking forward to seeing you all then. Music